Hi, this is Mike, sales manager of Ford. I'm back with you, and I'd like to show you um, our newest micromotor, the 1030. This is the control box. It's a portable micromotor, and this is the handpiece. The handpiece is small and very lightweight. It's really nice, fits in the hand very well, and the cord is very flexible. The control box has got a lithium-ion battery, which is rechargeable in about two and a half hours and lasts about five hours on a charge. You can plug it in with the uh, universal adapter and use it 24 hours a day if you like. This is the control box. As you can see, it's got a dial speed control here. The on button is right here. This is where you would plug in the uh, um, adapter to plug into the wall, the universal adapter. On this side here, there's an optional on off foot pedal plug the foot pedal button, and the forward reverse button, which you can hit on the fly without ruining the motor to change from forward to reverse. The very front shows a digital speed control, which turns red when you turn it on. And you can see that the battery has got a charge on it here. Let me show you what it looks like when you plug it in. This is the adapter box and the power cord. And when I plug it in, I plug it in down at the bottom. And you can see there's a little battery with a lightning bolt in there. It's flashing on and off. That means it's charging. Now, when it's on, turn on the speed, and you can see the digital speed control go up and down. Let's plug the handpiece on and see what it looks like. Plug it in here. Now you turn the speed up and you can hear it going. It's now at 30,000 RPM. Now if I were to turn it off and not zero out the paddle, uh, the dial control and then turn it back on, the motor doesn't start up. That's a safety feature. You have to bring it back up to zero speed to initiate the motor. You see this little arrow here with the U-shape? I just reversed to go into reverse while on the fly. And now it's on forward and it doesn't have that reverse indicator light. To change out the burrs, you give a quick twist on the neural clockwise and the collet opens. Change it to another burr. Put it in. Bottom it out close it, and it's secure and ready to go. Let me show you the motor brushes that it comes with. These are the motor brushes right here. They're very small. They're about two and a half millimeters long. When they get down to one millimeter, you need to change them. I'll show you how to do that. Make sure that the motor's unplugged. Twist off the back end cap. and there's your motor brush. All you have to do is unscrew it with a small Phillips screwdriver and replace them. There's two of them. Replace them both at the same time. This particular handpiece um, can take a 3 32nd collet, such as the 1030 model, or come with a 1 8 inch collet. I always recommend that somebody get a 1 8 inch collet and then go with a collet reducing sleeve so you never have to change the collet. To change the collet, you take your collet wrench and there's a little knob here and a dimple in the nose cone. Stick that in there and twist and then loosen the nose cone. Pull it out, pop it down, put the nose cone aside, and now you've got your basic spindle assembly here. Stick the but butterfly wrench into the cross piece nylon like so. Then you take your triangular piece here, put it up and over the collet, and loosen it. Unscrew it. It's a normal screw. And there we're loose. You pull out the collet, unscrew it, 
and there's the collet with the pin. Always keep the pin in the collet when you're, or a small burr, whenever you change or tighten it. Now when you put your new collet in, tighten it down. Okay, now you've got your unit here with your tighten collet. Put that in, slip it in, tighten it up, and tighten it up with that. One thing you don't want to do is loosen and take off this knurled ring. If you do, there's two small one millimeter ball bearings that need to be replaced and you need a special tool that we only have in the factory to replace them. I'll show you a little bit of what kind of a power it has with the speed here. We turn it on, crank up the burr, we get a new piece here. As you can see, it really starts cutting pretty well. And I'll show you what I mean by collet reducing sleeves, how easy that is. Instead of changing the collet, you take your 1 8 inch shank burr out. You slip in the collet reducing sleeve. And then you can put in another smaller shank burr. Tighten it down. Lock it. Great little unit, very portable. You can put it in your pocket or you can put it in our pouch, which I'm gonna show you right now. We also have a nice, simple nylon pouch to use with our unit. As you can see, you can actually operate it with it anywhere you wanna go. From workstation to workstation, tag sales, flea markets, in your car, in your camper, this little workhorse will be able to do a job for you up to 30,000 RPM for five hours of work away from a plug. When you're done, just take out the burr, put it right in your holster, and you're ready to go. Besides the optional uh, carrying pouch, we also have this nice uh, plastic case. It's a nice hardback case. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. It's got laser cut foam, and it'll carry your complete unit from station to station.